So here we have the Pentax 645N. It has a usual problem that you see with a lot of these cameras. The, I guess that's the shutter speed dial and the compensation dial. They break off. And if you're lucky, it breaks off in this pattern. If you're unlucky, that plastic the plastic circle in the top breaks off as well. So here, today we're gonna try to repair it in a sort of a different way. I made a video prior to this of like an easy fix where, you know, I just created a 3D printed model that keyed into place and you just glue it with some contact cement. But here we're gonna try to actually replace the actual part with a 3D printed part. Uh, I have a link in the description where you can find it on, um, I believe I put it on uh, Shapeways. I think that's the best place to get it off, get it from. But let's get into it. So here, as you can see, I'm just showing you the different screw locations that we need to take off. I This is my donor body. So I already took this apart before, or slightly apart. So this will be the first screw we need to take out. Careful, don't drop your screwdriver. After removing the leatherette, you want to keep that. It's not uh, it's not like a flat leatherette, so you don't want to lose that at all. So we take the back screws off. Um, the two screws that I'm about to take off right here are the same. The one on the below the ML button that is different. So you want to keep that separate. And in general, you want to keep your screws and lines separate and the ones that are the same together. I try to follow the sequence of this assembly when I'm assembling it. Sometimes I mess that up, but that helps a lot. So we're going to take the screws on the side off. So I hadn't actually taken the top cover off in a long time. So I might fumble a little bit here, but so I initially try to take off the minimal number of screws to take off the top cover. So that one on the is definitely you need to take off. There were some screws that were hiding. We'll find that towards the end. Well, as we take it apart, not really towards the end. So you need to take that screw and move the aperture uh, depth of field preview lever to get that screw out. There's some screws that hold the top cover in the battery chamber. We need to take those out as well. Again, careful to keep your screws in order so you know how to put which ones go back in which slot. Usually they're different enough to where you try to put them in. It doesn't fit, but placing them in separate like bins is usually very helpful. So I'm letting you know the one towards the back is the longer one. All right, so that frees up the battery cover. I mean, the bat, the top cover below the battery compartment. Seems like we still have a couple more screws to take out. So there's one screw underneath the bridge that connects the battery cover to the body. Don't forget to miss that. Take that out. So there's a lot of pressure. The the the, the top cover is put on in with like a like a very tight fit. And that plate applies pressure to keep everything in place. If the plate is not loosened up, it the top cover just won't come out. So we need to take the plate off. It doesn't seem obvious from how it, you know, it, it, the 
the body lines contour and fit together, but in just the movement of removing it, you, you got to take the Play-Doh off. And here I just found the one screw on the, underneath the bridge that connects the main body to the battery compartment. It's kind of hit, hidden. And it's, yeah, you would only be able to see it if you take the leather right off for the grip. So we pop that by bad boy out and we should be on our way. On the left side of the camera, we're going to take out the panel as well, just to loosen up that side so the, you know, the, the plastic is free to rotate out of place. So here we're going to take off the tripod mount um, sort of assembly. Kind of missed it in the camera, but there's about four screws that hold it on the body. So we take those four screws out. And we can take off the rest of the screws holding the panel on. Really loosen them to be honest you don't really need to take it off off you just need to loosen it And now with the panel free, we can see some movement on the top cover, well, at least on the left side. The right side, we still need to loosen that panel off completely. But I think I missed a screw. So here I just realized that I, I missed the I missed the, the the flash cover. I mean the flash holder. We had to take the flash holder off, and there are about four screws underneath it. So I guess that's the technique. You want to go underneath the. Forget about poking in the front. You want to go underneath the eyepiece push forward and then loosen up the panel on the right where the grip is just loosen that panel give it some space and once that panel is free 
the top cover should just pop off cleanly. Don't play with the front. And then you can lift it off again with a rotation forward. It's really nice, this top cover. It doesn't have any wires that connect it. It's all um, those uh, spring spring loaded contacts. So that's good. And now that we have the top cover off, we can look at how that dial is put together and try to replace it with a new one. So this, the, the camera fails in two different ways. Usually that black piece at the top of the dial breaks off and that's very severe, but if it hasn't, then you can follow my previous video and make an easy fix without taking the top cover off. But if you don't have that black piece, then you have to, you know, go in here. So first we remove those pickup pins. You want to take note of how, you know, what your, how your, um, if you're in auto, and how that dial is keyed in because it's it's a square key so you you know there's four different ways it can be put on so if you're in auto take note right now let's take a picture of how that that dial fits on because otherwise you might you know sort of lose track of how that that goes in place as you can see, that's a square it's a square hole. It might also be good to just put a mark. I don't put a mark, but you could put a mark on the on the board and and a mark on the dial that sort of just lines it up, telling you how it goes in place when the camera is in auto. So I'm gonna take it off. You can see there's a ball bearing in place. Don't lose the ball bearing or you will lose your click. If you don't want your click, you can lose the ball bearing. And you push down, it falls out. And that's the, that's the part, broken part. So and obviously in our replacement, you're not gonna have a lockout in auto anymore in X. So we're gonna have to get rid of that uh, the stopping mechanism over there. I believe it's a screw on the side that holds it in place. So we just take that out. So here you can see the wheel back in place and the 3D printed part. Again, it's very similar to the previous model. It just has a square key. You wanna put the wheel, you wanna put the 3D printed part in auto where it lines up with the white mark and you want to put your bottom wheel back in the auto position as well and make sure that, that, that the square key of the 3D printed part fits into the square hole of the sort of pickup wheel or well, the, the really it's the FR4 um, PCB wheel so once that's in place you're good to put the top cover back on here I'm just taking it off so we can see what it looks like again square hole that fits the square key you got your bearing back in place your bearings back in place is two bearings 
All right, so in putting back the top cover, it's just an operation in reverse, right? So, you know, carefully try to rotate it into place. Take note that those uh, spring p the spring contacts for the flash are there, so don't don't sort of try to bend them. And you want to spread the the side panels, and it should it should really just click in place. And again, an operation in reverse. So first we put the flash holder back in place after we confirm that you know it's seating very nicely and that's just being held by four screws And now we put the screws for the left side panel on. And we can put the plastic that covers the tripod mount location on. There's a leatherette that goes there. So in this video, I'm not going to show the put, we're putting back the leatherette. So next we need to put the screw back on the, the bridge that connects the main body to the battery compartment. And we need to put the screws back that go in the battery compartment. The silver one goes towards the front where the lens mounts. I believe that's the shorter. And the black longer one goes towards the rear. And then we could put the screws that hold the the top cover up from the back. And the final screw that goes below the ML button. And the right panel. So on the right side, we need to put all those, I think there's about four small screws that hold the panel in place it kind of tricky to put don't forget to put the screw behind the depth of field preview that one is tricky to put and that one caused me a lot of headaches but once that's in place and all the screws are in place you can test out your new 3d printed dial and confirm its function and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.